So welcome back everyone, and AMD seems to be testing several new RDNA 2 based Radeon RX 6000M mobility GPUs internally, and early information on a Navi 23 and Navi 24 discrete GPUs for the laptop segment has leaked out. Now reports by Twitter Insider and leaker Patrick Shore, AMD has several SKUs in the works for its Radeon RX 6000M mobility family. Now it looks like AMD will be initially introducing the mainstream and entry level variants based on the Navi 23 and 24 GPU design. Now the Navi 23 and Navi 24 GPUs haven't been seen in the desktop releases yet, but the upcoming RX 6700 series will be making use of the Navi 22 GPU. So we're looking at the Radeon RX 6600, 6500, and 6400 series cards based on the naming convention. At least that's what we think that it'll end up being. Now, as far as like specifications, those the lineup will include a 90 watt, an 80 watt, and a 65 watt SKU. These power figures are based on the TGP or total graphics power, and is likely that the TVP or total board power will be slightly higher, but we don't expect to see a much more than 100 watts since these are again the mobility design. And they don't feature the same board designs as desktop variants. And we're most likely to get the performance similar to the Radeon RX 5700M series mobility chips with higher efficiency. Now it'll be interesting to see if AMD puts 8 gigabytes or goes with higher memory configurations on the Navi 23 GPUs. Now AMD's Navi 22 RX 6700 GPUs are expected to feature up to 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which is four more than its predecessor. 8 gigabytes of memory would be two gigabytes increase over the RX 5600M, which we can also expect frequencies around the two gigahertz mark for the mobility parts. Now AMD is also testing at least two variants of the Navi 24 GPU. Now the Navi 24 XM GPU will have a configurable TGP ranging from 35 watts, 42.5, and all the way up to 50 watts. Laptop makers will be deciding on which TGP to select for their own designs, and premium models with improved cooling solutions should be able to utilize the 50 watt variant. Now the second discrete GPU based on the Navi 24 SKU would feature a single 25 watt TGP variant. These Radeon RX 6000 M series would likely be succeeding the Radeon RX 5500M and 5300 m which are based on the Navi 14, which is in, back in RDNA 1. Now the GPU could come with 4 or 3 gigabytes of GDDR6 on those older ones, and here we could see the Navi 24 GPU featuring upwards to 8 gigabytes of GDDR6. All the Navi 24 XML GPUs would end up with around 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 of memory. Now we can expect AMD to compete directly with mainstream GeForce RTX 30 mobility GPUs in the laptop segment. Now these models would be fully integrated on the Lucian and Cezanne based Ryzen 5000 series gaming notebooks that are hitting shelves in the first half of 2021. What's going to be more interesting is if AMD deploys a small yet still useful amount of Infinity Cache on these GPUs. Now the flagship designs feature up to 128 megabytes of Infinity Cache and a smaller 32 megabytes of Infinity Cache could be adopted by the mainstream chips. As for smart access memory functionality on the notebooks, well, it'd be another key feature that could be enabled by AMD. Now expect AMD's Radeon RX 6000M to be announced at CES 2021, along with the Ryzen 5000U or 5000H mobility lineup being done as well. Now, we also have details over on the site. I'll have that pinned in the comment section below regarding the Ryzen 5000 series CPU support on the 400 series motherboards. Got a list of all the ones that are supported and what it'll take to get it going. All right, guys, and for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.